When we think of our stories in the Puranas, we hear about them and then we think that, oh, you know, how can this really be? How can animals talk? How can people have wings? How can people fly all over the place? But actually, our stories from the Puranas are so significant. There was one story about Lord Ganesha, who is Lord Shiva's son. And one day he was at home and Lord Shiva was out. He went out and Parvati Mata was there and she was busy cooking. She was cleaning. And so Lord Ganesha was kind of bored. He said, I, you know, I want to play with someone. I want to do something. And, you know, in those days, they didn't have iPads. <laughs> God didn't have iPads or computers or laptops or video games. So he said, I'm really bored now. What do I do? So he went out into the garden and he went out into the garden and he saw in the garden such beautiful trees and birds and the sun was shining and he looked around to see what he could do and he started smelling the flowers and he started feeling the leaves and then he saw a cat. There was a cat there and the cat was purring, meow, so he saw the cat. And he said, well, here's something for me to do. And he starts playing with the cat. And first, very friendly playing with the cat. You know, he was making sounds and the cat was making sounds back. So he was meowing and the cat was meowing back and he was having a good time. But after that, he took the cat by the tail and he kind of twirled it around. And the cat was feeling painful, so uncomfortable. And Lord Ganesha let the cat go and he was laughing. And so he thought it was funny in his mind. He thought it was really funny. Then again, he did it and he twirled the cat around and then he let the cat go. And by this time when the cat went to the ground, it was rubbed all over in mud and it got pretty dirty. And Lord Ganesha again thought it was really funny. And then he did it one more time and he twirled the cat around and he let the cat go. And so after that, he got bored again. You know how kids always are. They get bored after two, three things. Well, also adults are like that. So we get bored after two, three things that we do. So he got bored. When he got bored, he said, let me go back home and let me see what my mom's up to. Let me see. When he went back home, he saw Parvati Mata. But what happened to her? She had scratches on her eyes, on her face, and she was covered in mud. And Lord Ganesha said, what happened to you? So she said, well, you tell me. He said, well, who did this to you? Who, who scratched up your face? Who made you, you know, roll in mud? Why do you have mud? When I left the house, you were wearing such a beautiful sari and your hair was all fixed and you looked so pretty. What happened? Who did this to you? And she said, Ganesha, you did. He said, what? She said, Ganesha, do you not know that I am that which makes the flowers grow? I'm that which makes the grass green and the sun shine. And I am that which is also in that little cat that you turned around and twirled around. And Lord Ganesha looked at himself and he started crying. And he said, I, and he said, I don't know. I didn't know. But now I know. I know who you really are. You are the mother. And you are that mother of everything. You are the mother of the whole world. And after that, Lord Ganesha didn't ever want to hurt anyone again. So it's a simple story of our Puranas, but you can imagine the depth of that story, which is actually telling us that the reason that we hurt others, the reason that we resort to violence or the reason that we do something wrong or immoral is because we forget that God too is in them. The minute we forget this, 
then all kinds of things come up. She's called mother for a reason. I remember telling you in one of the sessions, she's mother earth. She's river Ganga. She's mother Saraswati. She's Gayatri Devi. She's Shruti Mata. That divine mother is that which governs all beings. And the minute we forget it and we take her by the tail and throw her around, it is but our own people who get scratched and who get rolled in the mud. So when we pray, Mrityoho Mukshiya Ma Amritad, free us from bondage, how? By reminding us that that Divine Mother is everywhere and is in everything. And when we remember that, then we will only show kindness, we will only show compassion, and we will only show love. So now find a place where you can sit quietly and we will chant the prayer together. Om Om Slowly begin to relax your body. Relax your feet, your ankles. Relax your legs, your knees. your thighs, relax your hips, stomach, chest, relax your lower back, upper back, Relax your heart center. Let everything go. Relax your shoulders, your arms, your hands, neck, your face, your forehead. In the tip of your forehead. Relax your entire body. Just let everything go. 